Hello, I'm Nate, uh, co-founder of Mintbase. I'm going to do a really quick overview of all the things you can do. So while all the other platforms uh, stuck on Ethereum, we decided to go heavy on Near, which I think really handled sharding the correct way. And we get all these sort of crazy things like account abstraction out of the box, which means we can create accounts for you. Uh, and then when you feel ready, you can remove our access from that account and still keep all those transaction volumes uh, from that uh, item. You can do a hundred other things uh, like meta transactions. I'll show that in a minute. But for the most part, let's just do a quick overview of what Mintbase is. So right now I'm going to log in. We have all sorts of different wallets that we can uh, connect with. I'm going to do the near wallet. Um, but if you want, you can also use Meteor, uh, which is up here. Uh, you can use here wallet, which is also another nice option. But once I log in, now you can see all the smart contracts that either I've deployed or someone has, uh, added me as a mentor to, um, you can see, we sort of treat smart contracts as if they were directories on your folder. There's lots of them. You can deploy many for different things. They can be something as small as, uh, PO apps for certain events, or they can be as large as maybe you want to do stadium, t uh, seat ticketing for one particular contract. And with that. You can go into the uh, block explorer and see all the relative transactions to that smart contract. So it's kind of important to contain your collections or whatever it is that you're doing, I think on individual contracts that you own uh, the full access keys to and, and these sort of things. So you can see uh, I've deployed this min mid journey contract. This is its own store. We can actually come in here uh, and we can see everything that's actually happened uh, to this contract. This is mine and also could be yours. And it's very easy to actually deploy a contract. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so I'm the owner, so I get extra authorization. I can go into settings here uh, where we can do all sorts of granular things. I can add mentors. Uh, we can also go into the mentors tab and add mentors. Um, in the settings tab, I can also add royalties uh, for all my mentors when they mint uh, and uh, deploy to the store and someone purchases me as the store owner who's added them as mentors can also uh, take some royalties from that mint. Uh, as you can see, our goal is to sort of get you started on the mint based platform to make it easy. And then eventually, if you want to build your own front ends, uh, however you want in a metaverse or whatever it is you want to do, you can do that slow and steady uh, wins the race. So I'm going to go into the minter also very granular. Uh, we can mint a whole bunch name it. I'm sure you're quite familiar with this sort of stuff. You can add your images, uh, forever media. You can have your JPEGs, your GIFs, uh, SVGs are now good. MP3 sound files, uh, MP4s. Uh, we can also do a model and, and, uh, GLTF, uh, which is the 3d modeling. Uh, we can also add PDF documents. There's, there's a lot you Can add all sorts of different royalties. Uh, split revenues is, if you only want to give someone a piece of the pie on that one-time split, you can do that. And when they resell, they can add other splits themselves. You can add dates, uh, forever documents. Once this thing gets minted, uh, it's on Arweave. Uh, the metadata and the images and the files all get stored on Arweave, and all the transaction volume happens actually on, on Near. So very, very exciting, very, very easy. Uh, you also get a full suite of analytics that goes with it, uh, all the properties that we can... Uh, you can give me all the things from MidJourney, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, again, we're, these are my NFTs when I log in. I can go ahead and directly sell this. Uh, we can uh, transfer it. Uh, the transferring is quite neat. We can actually add multiple different accounts. If I wanted to send three to Nate.Near, you could do that. Uh, but I don't own three. I only own one. So, yep, there it goes. And then you can add a whole list of folks that want to get uh, pop maybe three to Nate, one to Carolyn.near, and, and the list goes on. Uh, the other big piece is we're slowly rolling out uh, buy with card. So uh, if you want to go through the KYC process and you've been checked off, uh, then people can actually buy your NFTs uh, using credit card, debit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay. Uh, the list goes on. It's a slow roll, so it's not open to everyone. So most of the uh, uh, NFTs won't have a buy uh, situation. But if you are the seller and you've been KYC'd, you're good to go. Again, we have all of the token uh, uh, provenance also uh, loaded. There's just a ton of data. Uh, it's kind of the real value of what uh, blockchain gives us. Um, what's really neat is head on over to the stats page. 
so anything that's on MinPace doesn't mean it was minted on MinPace or specifically sold. If it's happening on the near blockchain, it's happening on MinPace. You can mint on your own independent contract. You can probably see it in our system. Uh, and if you want to, you can actually even go and mess around on testnet, which will switch the link and you can see all those mints on testnet or on mainnet. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, I would love for the developers to head on over to the build section. Uh, so anything we've done, we're, we've built a hardcore marketplace and a hardcore minting platform. Uh, so we're all these tools that we're doing to build all this stuff, like our indexer and our queries, and all these sort of things. Uh, we're opening that for other folks to use as well. So if it's worked for us, it's going to work for you. And when you hop over to our docs, uh, you can see here's our GraphQL indexer. Um, let's say we want to go into here. All of this data is also available to you. Give me all the tokens by Nate.Near minted in the last two months. Uh, what royalties are on there? How much did that uh, person earn? I mean, it's a really detailed list. If we're doing any real reads uh, besides private data like emails, uh, that's all on MintBase. That's all coming from, from our, our developer stack. Also, check out uh, MintBase.js. Uh, it's broken out into multiple different libraries. We have Auth, Data, React, uh, RPC. Um, but if you go into the SDK, this is where you get uh, really, really easy uh, React uh, examples of how you can mint on your platform if you want to build your own interface. Uh, the other last big piece for your developers is if you head on over and you don't even want to do any of those sort of bits, uh, you can go into deploy market, which uh, from that single click, uh, you can actually clone uh, our repository uh, and go and sign in with your GitHub and deploy a really basic marketplace uh, within a few clicks and not really even needing to... Uh, uh, write a line of code. Um, and with that, you also get out of the box our uh, affiliate direct program. So if you go into a site like, let's say, Tradeport, uh, maybe I want to go into our affiliate direct. So basically, anytime you buy uh, an NFT, we have to trigger this on the smart contract that says, I want to buy from this contract and this token ID. We added a third param. Uh, it's, it's the affiliate ID so that you can actually get those funds uh, back. So let's say you are a trade port uh, and you want to discover, uh, let's go into antisocial apes, and you wanted to buy directly from Mintbase. Uh, if you bought on here, uh, trade port is also now pulling in the um, affiliate ID uh, and they'll actually get uh, half of our market fee to them. So this works in a very a variety of ways. You can build your own front ends, your own metaverses, where you don't have to focus on the indexer, the transaction pieces. You can focus on the metaverse land and we'll do all the hard blockchain stuff and you'll get half of the market fee from us. Uh, these things are pretty valuable. You can see Tradeport is in our top. They've gone 38 transactions. Uh, not a ton, but I think it's a, a pretty novel way to really show off what's going on. Uh, also, you can really trust that our contracts work. Uh, you can come into our audits on our footer. This was done uh, in April, uh, so they're very recent, and uh, we have a passing score uh, of no critical bugs uh, on our contracts that are deployed. So you can read through that. It's actually up on Arweave, so we cannot change or manipulate it, and uh, off you go. So uh, let's see. We can explore. We're adding new, new, uh, new worlds every single day. Here's our AI category where we can start to see all the mid-journey mints. Uh, you can search by DAOs. Uh, you can search by uh, PFPs or philanthropy. You can even jump into, let's say, the rogue genesis where we can go through and we can give me all of the rogues with the brown eyes. Again, this is really neat as PFPs, but if you're uh, deploying a, flat, a fashion line and you wanted to uh, say this is the brown shirt and the large, uh, this sort of filtering mechanism is going to work uh, perfect for you as well. So again, now's the time to start exploring and experimenting uh, and, and off you go. One last thing to mention, if I wanted to go ahead and sell this, uh, we're also accepting sales uh, and trades through near USDC, near USDT. Uh, as well. And so that list can grow exponentially really quickly and easily, um, but we're going to just do it slow and steady. Uh, again, we have our dead mouse uh, NFTs. 
what this was a really interesting experiment is we were able to mint a lot. So we minted, I think, over 500,000 of these things. So you can see 502,000 NFTs uh, with 66,000 left to sell. Uh, but the real fascinating piece is just the scale that we can do that. Um, uh, you can come in and explore yourself. Come in, mess around. Uh, if you are a big partner that wants to uh, sell in your NFTs and they have some sort of utility and you want to experiment with us, uh, let me know and I will send you a mint-based Stripe NFT and you can get going on that. Uh, also, one last note, how hard is it to deploy your own contract if you just come in and just do, maybe we call it the Yeet contract. Uh, it's that easy. You just basically deploy, you hit it with six and a half near, it's seven bucks today. I'm not going to do it just to save myself some money. Uh, but fascinating stuff. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, hope you experiment with us and we're excited to see what, what everyone builds. Bye.